Okay, guys, here we go. This is where the magic happens. So, let's do this. So it begins. We hit this major estate sale. We're looking at comps. This is how you work. You get your stuff and find a corner. And this is just a glimpse, a glimpse of one woman's closet to die for. Tons of resellers and shoppers. Look at all these rocks. New Attack, Anthro, Kate Spade. Oh, what else do I see? Oh, like, it's just crazy. Crazy. Like, it's already pitched through. So you can only imagine what it looked okay. like before. Hey guys, I'm off to an estate saw. We're gonna do some thrifting and I'm gonna take some footage, take some pictures, and I'm gonna take y'all along for the day. And so, let's get to it. This is some of the stuff I'm thinking about. There's an anthro skirt. Oh, this is my pile, I gotta seep through. So these are some of the things I put back. This top shop clear raincoat and had some stains. Um, comps didn't look that great on this anthro mojo jacket. This Zara red jumpsuit, I just feel like it would be too much of a risk and it's not new with tags. That's super cute. See if it's here for tomorrow. This anthro sweater, new with tags. I couldn't find any comps on it, but I just felt like it was too like taste specific with that print. Um, I almost kept this for me. It's just a plain white H&M sweater. This one, same. Actually, I think I do want this. But the comps don't look that great. But for me, perfect. And this dolman. I think this would just look way better on. But I don't think it'll photograph well. And also, it's only 15 This is an anthro brand. But it's not like sought after. It's not well known. And this was a new tag anthro skirt. Um, this particular Carolina K, it's new with tag, size medium, but it's a skirt, and I just think it'd be a risk, but look at that beautiful beaded embroidery, and it's lace. If it's here tomorrow, I might grab it. I'm kind of tempted to buy it for myself. So here's just an example of things you can find. New with tags, $458, and throw. And it's florite, but it's still $60. Um, Seems to be just kind of selective. Again, new with tag and throw. But this is 40. 15 and throw sweater. This is not new with tag, but sorry, this is getting new with tag. May 40. It's really pretty. It's just trying to give you an idea of how much new it has. So again, there's still a ton of stuff. Look at this three-piece suit. The Zara woman. It's 50 bucks. New with tag. This is new with tag. Line and dot. I think that's anthro. But I don't know. That's kind of... Some things you have to be super selective about. And some things you just take a chance. 
This is Anthro. New with tags. Um, this is a Vince sweater, but something's wrong with it because it says as is. These are a bunch of sweaters. Let's see. This is Gregory 15. I've never heard of that brand. Have to look it up. Sparrow. Oh, here's another Vince. This is 20. Hmm. It's like a shaggy sweater. Maybe I should look that up. <laughs> yeah. This is gorgeous. Leaf starter, but it's still $195. New attack, new attack, new attack, new attack. This is Burberry, but it's still 165. New attack. Alice and Olivia. This is 20. Just a plain black dress. New attack. Oh, this was cute. I almost picked this up. 45. New well, tag, and through. In fact, let me look that up. There's another Nicole Miller, but it says as is, so something's wrong with it. But again, I, it just looks older style. So I'm just trying to be selective. Millie, this is cute. New tag, 40. It's a fun party dress. Zara Woman. Oh, this is a lamb. Gwen Stefani. Brand new attack. It's like a little mini dress with this little overlay. 75. So anyways, you get the drift. Tons of anthro new attack. That's only 15. That's super cute. I think a pantsuit. Isn't that cute? <laughs> New with tag. This is a really pretty dress. It's 60. Never heard of that brand. Oh, it's a pantsuit. And throw. New with tag. Regularly 158. Oh, this one. I Oh, this is this, this is gorgeous. Again, new tag. And Tracy Reese 40. There's even a lot of pants, but the prices um, and the the prices they have for resale, it's just not worth it. They still have a lot of shoes left, but they're these are only 30, but that's not a really well-known brand. Um, but they're just priced so high still, especially to try to flip. See, these are still $75. I mean, it'd just be a slow flip. But, um, 75. These are super cute. 85. Yeah, I just looked up comps for these shoes, and they're pretty much going for this price right now on Posh, and then with the fee, etc. And there's some Jimmy Choo's here. But this is, I don't know, I don't think they're that pretty. More Kate Spade. Here's some Enola Blahniks. These are really pretty. Okay, I'm out of here. This is getting dangerous. So I finally finished. I arrived um, at this estate sale at 10 o'clock, 10, 10 to be exact. And I just got done and it's one o'clock. So again, it was already picked through, but even at that, there was still so much stuff. And some of it was still kind of priced high. Um, not really for what you're getting, but it's, I mean, it's just like a numbers game with reselling. It can be kind of hit and miss. Um, I did look up comps for everything and my kind of, um, the way I look at it 
is one, do I have enough followers? Um, I'm building a brand still. I'm still new to the resale game. My, what are my circumstances? Can I afford to hold on to this money? Do I need to hurry up and do a quick flip? Or um, is it even worth doing a quick flip? Again, there's just so many factors to consider when you're doing something like this, especially considering the amount. I mean, it's not like going to Goodwill and buying something for $5.99 and $7.99. This is kind of a different caliber, but a lot of stuff was new with tag. And um, one of a, a lot of stuff too was like, one of a kind in the sense that it's not flooded in the market right now. And so again, though, it's a numbers game because is it like, oh, is somebody going to swoop in and grab it? Or because nobody else has it, is that what people are looking for or not? So I would try to kind of think about the person who would be buying this piece. Would they be buying it for work? Would they be buying it to go out? Again, what kind of dollar amount are people comfortable with? Um, cause there's just so many trendy things. I mean, nowadays you can get at the mall. So, um, but again, these were designer, you know, a lot of new with tag items. Um, I did have, this was a one of a kind experience. I can't even begin to explain. Um, I mean, this was like almost probably the closest thing I'll ever get to. Um, as far as this is a probably the closest thing I'll get to shopping and what I would think of as a celebrity closet. Um, so for that reason alone, again, it was in my mindset, I'm like, well, uh, this is once in a lifetime experience. Granted, I don't want to lose money either. So I do have a strategy in place um, because I don't want to hold on to items, but at the same time too, I have to obviously make it worth my time. So I'm super excited. It'll also, I think, um, bring in a lot of new buyers to my closet. Um, for example, I bought Vince, um, Vince sweaters. I don't have anything else in my closet that's Vince. I bought um, a couple of other brands that I don't have already in my closet, so I kind of felt like, too, it would bring um, traffic through my closet. Um, so I'm excited, guys. Like This is kind of huge for me, being um, a newer reseller, and so I hope y'all continue to follow along in my journey and let me know what y'all think. Okay, well, I'll keep you posted. I got to grab lunch. I'm like, I'm starving. Hey, whenever somebody says thrifting or shopping is not hard work, they don't know what they're talking about. Don't listen to them. Hey guys, I finally made it back. I um, inventoried all my items, put on my spreadsheet, wrote down my expenses, got everything hung up, and I didn't want to keep you guys waiting any longer, but I still, I still have to do a little bit more research before I post um, some of these items online, but let's get started. So the number one problem all resellers have is trying their items on. Well, I did do that, but also to some of these items I bought with myself in mind. Um, for example, this is Maeve, and it's just a blue denim with um, some embellished beading for the Peter Pan collar. It's just so cute, and it's perfect for the summer. So I got that for myself. And then... Um, I'm obviously obsessed with black and white stripe. They're both a little bit different. This is like a boat net and it's again, new with tag. And this is a Zara knit. And this is a, um, I believe you say trove. The tag looks like this. And this has a low back and it's longer at the bottom, but I'm gonna be going on a trip next year. And one of the stops is Paris. And you have to have a black and white stripe top. It's just a must. So I couldn't decide between the two. So again, because of pricing, I'm just gonna keep them both. And then I got this new with tag Adidas um, legging. So maybe if I look cute, I'll be encouraged to work out. And then um, I'm gonna keep this. It's like a popcorn. Um, it has like this little like fur. I don't, not fur, but I don't, I don't remember if it's, let me see if it's some kind of a mohair mix or something. Um, I think it was, it is, sorry, uh, ah, uh, yes, no, I'm not sure what it is, but anyways, sorry about that, it's La Fille, um, Verte, if I'm saying it correctly, and I believe this is Anthropology also, and this is what the tag looks like, 
and it's a popcorn sweater and um, again it just has like this very like furry texture it's super soft and comfy but look how cute it would look with some tight legging jeans and just give me a pop of color because I tend um, I don't know just very pretty then I got this HD in Paris and again I have a special event to go to next year and it's a midi dress and I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but it's like this gold yellow paisley print and it's like shimmery and metallic. It just looks very luxe, very classic. So I'm excited about that. And I also, I think I'm going to keep this just Adidas cool over. I don't know. I might end up in my Poshmark closet. And these Adidas um, legging exercise pants, aren't they so cool? They're just really fun and funky. So maybe you'll see them maybe you won't okay so get back to business right new attack sam edelman red and green um plaid obviously it's like more like holiday christmas um colors and again new attack this is perfect for the season right now so this will definitely be going up on my closet asap then i got this um faux wrap this is the back of the shirt and this is the front and this is again new with tag regularly $125 and this is found at Nordstrom and the brand give me a second it's very slinky very soft I think it's Bailey um, yeah Bailey 44 so this is just a classic piece and then um, this is a Yoana Barashi, I believe you say it. It's an anthro brand or label. And um, it's a cardigan, button down cardigan. It's embellished beading sequin. It's this taupe cream color, very elegant and chic. And then also, this is, I think this is the one I was thinking. It's the um, Mo Alpaca, 100% Alpaca sweater. But look how cool that is. And it's see through, it's odd in. I believe this is an anthro piece as well, but it has the neutrals, the blush pink, the beige, and the tan. I'm, obviously, you can tell I'm a fan of, you know, beige sweaters and neutrals. Um, but it's just really cool because it's knit and then it's like see-through, so you can put a tank top or layer it. And it just, again, it looks really chic and um, expensive. And it's soft. It's not itchy. Then I found these two Vince sweaters. This one is a size medium, and again, it has like this shag kind of vibe look to it, and it's like this gray, brown, lavender um, kind of, a sh I don't know, shade to it. It's neutral, and um, this is a Vince new tag, and this is, all, this is a size small. That was a size medium, and this was regularly $295, and it's just a classic piece that, you know, a staple piece that you can have in your closet for a really long time. So if you're a fan of Vince, then for sure you would want to take a look at that. And then this is a Sunday in Brooklyn piece. Again, another anthro, and it's kind of like this, it's window pane um, print, but it's also like embroidered, like with these threads. And, it, and it's knit in the back, and it feels almost like linen-like. So this might be linen can't see my lighting isn't very good here but um, I'll have to take a look at that but very again chic classic piece and um, this is an anthro Mewa tag this was regularly $118 and it's this silk um, kind of like a see-through purple aqua uh, wrap like a silk wrap and then um, you can just layer this piece and then here's the armholes right here. So it's kind of like the, um, I don't even know if this is considered a dull man. I'll have to look up the sleeve type, but look how pretty that looks. I mean, this would go great on something, just a plain black dress, a romper. I mean, this is like a statement piece. Ooh, I could just totally picture this with some um, drop down like tassel earrings, very tropical when you're going out of town with the girls and then this is a brand I hadn't heard of and again you would tag anthropology Pankaj and Nidhi this is made in India and it has a sequin embellished neckline 
and it's this pink floral print. And I thought this would be really good for uh, wedding season coming up. And again, it's new with tags and it's just really pretty. This would be great for like a garden wedding or a shower of some sort. And again, another, um, this is like a blush pink. This is Landry by Shelly Seagull. And this has like a total 20s vibe and it has like the drop down waist and then the embellished beading, the neck, and you'll see it's silk. And then it has like these really frilly layers to it. It's just really pretty. I gotta steam this. But um, this again would make a great piece for a shower or a wedding of some sort. And then this is a new tag Leaf's Daughter um, top. And it's a button down and it has the little birds on it. This is a great spring piece. So I kind of try to get a little bit of everything um, because isn't that how life is? You can just have different events for different seasons. Um, sometimes it's work related, sometimes it's family related, sometimes it's out with the girls. Um, so you kind of have to have a little bit of everything. So I tried to just pick up pieces that were unique in themselves and made a statement um, for sure. And this is a Tanvi Kitia. And look at the buttons on this, first of all. Those are so pretty. And I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's like, um, I believe this is silk. And it has this little beading and sequins. And then um, it has this texture to it. It's just, again, so chic. And it just has all the pretty, um, like, spring, summer colors to it. I mean, this is, again, just with a plain pair of jeans and some camel wedges and some tassel earrings. It just, that in itself makes a statement. Or, too, you could go all out and put this with a skirt and voila, you have a top for an event. Excuse me, I have to sneeze. Oh my goodness. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry. Everybody says I'm a loud sneezer. I tried to really hold that in. Okay, this is just becoming too much. I gotta get comfy here. And um, this is again, another Anthro new with tag, La Casita de Wendy. Size small, but it could easily fit a size um, medium. And it's like that bat, I don't know if this is like the bat wing or dolman sleeve. And it's like this blush pink coral picnic check pattern. And it's just super cute. And it's kind of like um, thick, like almost like a sweater. This is like perfect for the fall, a great transition piece. Or even from like the winter, you know, to spring when it's kind of like that weather. It's like, is it cold? Is it warm like who knows anymore and this I didn't do a very good job of hanging this up but anthropology new with tag and this is 11 sets and this is a pant suit isn't that so pretty and again I liked it because on the waist it gathers I don't know if you can tell here but on the waist it gathers and again this is like perfect for a wedding um you know, an outdoor event or date night or lunch with the girls. So really pretty. I just try to find pieces that, you know, you couldn't find other places too. And um, this is a Clover Canyon. I had never really paid attention to that brand, to be very honest. It's new with tag. Um, this particular piece is, it says swim. So I'm thinking it's is a swimsuit. I'm gonna do a little bit more research. I first I picked it up because I thought it was a bodysuit. I was like, oh, this is a pretty cool bodysuit to wear, you know, underneath some shorts or jeans. And then you'll notice on the side it has a peekaboo um, mesh there. So really sexy. It's like sexy and edgy, but pretty and chic at the same time because of the, you know, the floral print. So I thought that was really cool. And then I actually got this for myself, but I didn't like the way it fit me. Um, Cause I kind of have, I just don't like the way it fit me. But anyways, it's super soft. It's Dolan Anthropology, new with tag. And isn't this so cool? It has pockets on the side. And this is perfect when you're looking for a long shirt for your leggings or jeans. Um, Cause some, those long shirts are hard to find. And it's like that Jersey kind of material, super soft. And again, it's just a neutral, but with the right 
accessories, look at that. It just, you know, makes it pop. So again, a great transition piece. It's not just for the summer. I mean, you could rock this with black booties, tight, you know, legging, jeggings, jewelry, a hat, and um, also to like a leather moto jacket on top of it. It would just make it just, it would turn it into something totally different. Again, this is Cloud Canyon, new attack, Cloud, Clover Canyon, new attack, and again, I got this for me. So a few of these pieces I paid up for. I'm thinking that they were going to be for me, but I tried them on and it just didn't fit quite right, but it's a maxi skirt, but I liked it too, because again, it had that really cool, um, like floral, pretty vibe to it, but yet it had an edge to it. And again, this would just be so cool with like a black sleeveless bodysuit, a moto leather jacket, and then again, you could transition it into the spring um, or even to the fall. So I kind of, I, I love pieces that you can transition into different seasons because I'm from Atlanta and so we have every season. And so instead of having just pieces for particular seasons, I love when I can layer different pieces and transition to them. And then this is a Tracy Reese dress, another dress I thought it was going to be for me. It has a cold shoulder. It's midi. Um, I have an event next year to go to, just your little black dress. This is perfect. Um, it's chic and it's not too sexy, but yet it's really classic. And um, this is great for like a work event or a wedding, you know, something that you want it to be classic and timeless. But at the same time, too, um, you know, just it can, it's this kind of, you could do wear this just so many different things. And I love that it had the high neck. So with your hair pulled up in a bun, big earrings um, with oh, just the right statement shoes with this would just, again, take it up a notch or just plain stiletto heels. And you have a perfect dress for that work event. This is another um, this is Postmark Anthropology. I believe this, yes, is new with tag. Again, I got this for me, but um, I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one, so I'm gonna put it in my Poshmark closet, and if I need a dress, I may pull it out. But right now, it's new with tag, and um, I just loved the different mixed prints. And again, I'm really picky about my floral prints because I feel like with florals, it can either look kind of either too pretty or too cheap. I love it when the floral print is like bold and kind of edgy at the same time, if that makes sense. And then I loved it that it had that angle hem. And then with this black and white pattern, again, I just felt like it was kind of like pretty but edgy at the same time. And a, this is just, again, another, with, for the fall, you could wear tall black boots or spring and summer, you got another look with that dress. So, and then here's um, Yellow Bird Anthropology, and this is really pretty. Look at the back with the kind of like a peplum hem and this like silk floral um, embroidery. And then it has some also um, some, a sequin detail here with the two front pockets. And again, it's a neutral and it just looks super chic. Um, it doesn't just look like a Target cardigan. Not that I have anything against Target, believe me. So new with tag, these are rag and bone. Um, again, new with tag, isn't this so cool? It has this um, zipper detail at the ankle and then this like, I don't know, uh, racer, this like race stripe on the side. And these are a size 29, which I think is cool because sometimes it's, I don't know why it's so much easier to find smaller sizes. And I really want to vary my closet up and offer different sizes. So I was super excited, you know, to have these in there to get those. Now this, I did a lot of research on this and I'm going to put on Poshmark, but I, I don't have anything on eBay right now, but I think I'm going to also put this on eBay because it's actually a um, collector's piece in the sense that um, Anthropology brought back some of its classic pieces that did really well for their 20th anniversary. And it had its new with tag and it even has the little uh, matchbox 
um, tag on it showing that it's commemorating the 20th anniversary. And this is a size medium and this is just really chic. Um, it's, I think it's wool. It feels like wool. It's a size medium and um, it's just really pretty. Look at that peplum hemline and it's warm and it has the alternating buttons on it. Which is, oh, this is just, again, a classic piece. And for those anthro collectors, I'll be interested to see how this does. And if at any time any of these pieces interest you, just DM me before I put it on Poshmark and give me an offer. And, oh, this was an uh, Alicia, no, an, uh, an Alice and Olivia. And new a tag. Um, forgot. Oh, it's a circle hemline. Isn't this so cool? So because of the lining underneath, it has like this thick edge to it. It kind of makes it pucker out. And this is a great um, party dress. Look at the back. What I like, and it's like this rose gold um, and it's metallic and look at the zipper, exposed zipper detail. This is just a totally cool, chic, hipster vibe kind of a dress. Again, with, um, with booties um, for the shoes or even heels. You can just get, I feel like, so many looks just with this one dress. And then um, this, uh, I did try it on and it does fit me like a glove. But I gotta make some money some point. This is a Tracy Reese new tag, originally $698. A part of me is like, you have to keep it. When else are you gonna wear a $700 dress? And then the left side of me was like, no, 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 focus, focus, focus. This is for work. You gotta make money to have a successful business. So I kind of talked myself out of it. But look at the embroidery on this dress. It's just gorgeous. And it has an exposed zipper and it has this, um, is it? I got cut off and I had to already put my hair up already. As I was saying about this dress, it is gorgeous and it has this beautiful scallop edge. I may have to try that on for y'all later, but no, no, I'm not keeping it. Anyways, okay, so size 10, um, these like white cream, kind of um, scallop edge, um, uh, scallop edge, and it has like this kind of a crochet lace kind of a detail. Mewa tag, size 10, 11 sets. 11 sets, Mewa tag, size 10. It's this like Gerber Daisy embroidered blue short. And then Mewa tag, 100% um, silk. And it's Mewa tag, and I think a Leaf's Daughter um, shorts. And it has these really pretty ties on the side. And like this is a really... I love these shorts, again, because you can get so many looks from them. You could put it with a white tee and some jewelry and some sandals, or you could put a wedge and a dressy blouse and, you know, some tassel earrings, and you have, like, some dressy shorts for the evening for, like, a date night or vacation, what have you. And then this is really cool. This is a far away from close, new with tag anthropology sweater, and it has this tassel fringe neckline cream neutral sweater. Can't go wrong with a cream neutral sweater. Hello. Um, okay, so this is a Nicole Miller, again, new with tag. Uh, this is a two piece and it has this um, see-through lace metallic top. The I think what's cool about this, what makes this is the skirt. Look how neat. This is like the outfit you wanna wear when you're gonna hit the dance floor because this skirt just moves with you. And what I think, like you can get, again, two different looks from this outfit. Here's one complete look. And then top it with a um, crop top or, you know, some other kind of a blouse. And you have a, another outfit. So you have like two outfits in one. So super cool. Oh, it's just so fun. And then this um, surprised me. So I looked up and there was like a comp for like over $200 on and it says Guild by Kareen Grassini. I'm not familiar with this label. Um, there it is, if y'all can see it. If y'all know anything about it, let me know. But it's like this popcorn, I don't know, pom-pom knit 
cream, surprise, surprise, sweater, and it has this large opening on the side. And again, I feel like you can get so many different looks with this. You can put a button down underneath, but not just any button down, it'd have to be a specific one, and pop the collar out, or you just put a tank top underneath. And again, just like with some really cool jewelry, some jeans, or this would look really cool right now with those like pleather, faux leather um, Spanx leggings. This would be really neat. You know how, because especially because it has so much texture to it. So when you mix like two separate textures, it can just like take it up a notch. So again, new with tag line anthropology. This is cool because the way it is in the back, you see how that line across from it goes. It almost makes it like a um, fit like a grandpa sweater but this is far from grandpa new with tag this was originally $198 black and white stripe and um, and it has this dolman sleeve right here so it's a very slouchy baggy look that's in right now it's trending and what's really cool is I don't know if you can see but this the dark black stripe it has like these sequin pieces to it so it's just, again, not like your typical cardigan. And it's just very different, very stylish, and very cool vibe. This was a surprise because it's Adidas, but it's when they did the collaboration with Rita Ora. So it has this mesh, black mesh on top of the design. And I thought the design was actually a floral design. And it turns out it's like the smoke design and it's called the smoker's jacket or something along that line because of the design and again I think this is something I need to put on eBay because apparently like this is a rare piece and I'll be curious as to what this does but I was super stoked about this so again um, if you have any info I would really appreciate it again it's a collaboration with Rita Ora and it's Adidas and it's that bomber jacket so cool so We'll see what happens. Okay, new with tag, Florite, and um, it has this really pretty lace detail on the top, and then it's pleated, and it kind of has a high-low hemline with, again, um, lace on the bottom. Just really chic. Um, you could put a belt to define the waist a little bit more. I kind of like it on the loose, um, the loose kind of baby doll end, and um, new with tag. This is a size 8. Then this is another surprise. So, oh, I'm gonna butcher this name. Sashin and Babi Noor, made in India. I got this because I just thought this was a really fun piece. I was like, ooh, one night I'm gonna go. So anyways, like I was saying, this is Sashin and Babi Noor, and this is real ostrich feathers. Don't get bad at me. I did not know, I love animals. And I just thought this was a fun piece for me to wear, like on, you know, if I go to a play or go to the Fox Theater or go to a cool restaurant. This is a type of piece like you just wear with, you know, plain black romper or dress and it makes the whole outfit. And apparently anything with real ostrich feathers is like worth money. Sim I think this was um, offered for sale at Barney's or Sex with Avenue, something like that. And I think it was like for $319 and it sold out. And um, now anything like with ostrich feather, like a lot of the comps are like 138 on up, just depending on the style. And this is so cute because it has a little sequin detail to it. It's just so fun. So again, this is a learning experience and I learned something new. Check, check those feather items. So this is a Sparrow cardigan jacket, super cool. It's really thick, warm, and non-itchy, really fun just with some, or not fun, but just this is a transitional piece. Again, you could wear it with a really cool lace tankini camisole with just some plain um, jeans and booty, ankle booties, or you could really dress this up with some jewelry and the right handbag and um, you can kind of get another outfit from that. It's a great transitional piece and it's like I think a good travel piece too because you can kind of you can layer with that really well. So this is a really fun dress Tracy Reese new with tag anthropology um, and it has this netting underneath to give it some fullness 
and um, it's just a really pretty um, dress by itself. You don't even have to do much to it. Just put some simple strappy shoes and you have like a really pretty statement dress that kind of moves with you. And then last but not least, this is kind of a funny story. So I was with my girlfriend that first day of the estate sale and um, we're pulling out our pieces. And I was like, yeah, I found this Miwa tag. I said, I don't know this brand. Have you heard of it? Zimmerman? Uh, yeah. She's like, oh my gosh, put it away, put it away. You're taking that, you're taking that. I'm like, okay. Well, I mean, I don't buy $1,100 dresses. So um, comps look amazing, new with tag, and it's a maxi dress. And um, it's a, it has like a um, low cut um, detail front and it's a halter dress. This will be great in the spring. So I'll be really, and it has like this little charm detail, super cute. And it's a halter, like I said, so it wraps around the neck and then it has this really low um, neckline, very tropical, flowy, super pretty. And the best part of this find was that obviously whoever was pricing this stuff hadn't heard of that brand either. So Zimmerman, be on the lookout for that. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, this was like a one of a kind haul event, um, estate sell, and it was once in a lifetime. And I hope you enjoyed. See you later. Great. Bye.